they managed to jump in there and turn them black and turn them black. All right, so recently I found out about this channel called Ranting for Vengeance, and they seem to be the new anti-woke grifter in town. Now, usually when I talk about anti-woke grifters, I never really feel threatened or intimidated by them. But this guy, he's a little different. See, the minute I click on his channel, I think, oh, I can make fun of this guy. But then I go look at his banner, and it says, Ranting for Vengeance. Death to all posers. I mean, if that just doesn't scream cool, I don't know what does. And if you weren't certain they were an anti-woke grifter, well, just take a look at their thumbnails, because they will always remind you that they are on the anti-woke grift. Woke, woke, woke. It's Jover, woke. Basically, everything is woke according to these guys. Now, today I want to go ahead and take a look at this video that this guy made where basically he says that Batman is woke. So we're going to find out why is Batman woke? What went wrong? Why is Batman gay now? Why have superheroes gone woke? Let's go ahead and find out. So DC has decided to reinvent Batman in the brand new series, Absolute Batman. Many people are saying it's amazing. It's a breath of fresh air. This is gas, my Raw. This shit is gas! Like, is this what DC meant when they said DC all in? I'm kind of I'm here to tell you if that's the truth. Spoiler alert, it's not at all. It's literally one of the worst takes on Batman ever. All right, so I don't really look at comic books like that, but uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at an image of this new Batman. And honestly, I don't see what the complaints are. I mean, he looks pretty cool to me. And like I said, I don't look at comic books like that. I'm not really into like, you know, superhero lore like that anymore. But like, honestly, what are the complaints here? I mean, he looks pretty cool. Quick disclaimer before I start. This is in some rage bait video i'm not lying to get your attention i'm telling you my opinion which i believe is the truth that this a is not batman and b is an absolute dumpster fire this comic is a disgrace to creators like frank miller jeff loeb this isn't the batman they envisioned i know it's a different take on the character but what this does ruins the character entirely all right so your first mistake was owning what you're saying in this video okay your first mistake was saying oh yeah I'm not trolling, I'm being serious, I 100% mean everything I'm about to say. Because now you can't do what I've heard some other anti-woke grifters like to do, and that's basically when they get a ton of backlash for a video, they say, Oh, I'm trolling, ha, I got you all, ha, look at me, I got ad revenue, ha, ha, ha. So now basically you're stuck with your take, you can't walk it back now saying you were trolling or rage baiting, you're now just stuck with what you just said in this video. So let's just go ahead and hope that he doesn't say anything too stupid or out of line. So this comic strives to reinvent the world of Batman in every way possible. What if a bodybuilder engineer dude became Batman? Yeah, that's not badass. I'm sorry. I don't find that badass. I don't find that different, unique, entertaining. It's just cringy. Wait, so hang on. You don't find a bodybuilder engineer dude being Batman badass? How could you not find that cool? Wasn't Iron Man like an engineer dude that became like, you know, Iron Man? He became a superhero? Didn't he build like his first suit in a cave with a box of scraps? Like, I'm just struggling to see how this isn't cool, how this isn't badass. There's people all across the internet saying that this comic is badass, it's awesome. This comic literally reads like those edgy 90s comics that every single person makes fun of. It's like a 12 year old's fan fiction of Batman. Okay, I'm sorry I'm pausing so much, but bro, isn't the whole idea of like superheroes and like cartoons and comic books, isn't that kind of like made for like a younger audience? Like, look, 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 no offense if you're like an adult or like an older person and that's into like superheroes and stuff that's totally fine that's totally valid but i don't know isn't like the whole idea of like superheroes and stuff like that and batman superman iron man you know uh, like all these superheroes aren't they kind of meant for like kids like i don't know it just sounds like this dude isn't really making any sense here and then also he's complaining about the comic being cringe and edgy it's like brother have you looked at your youtube channel banner it is the literal definition of edgy death to all posers this comic has everything it has horrible edgy dialogue it has some pretty gay character designs fellas is it gay to have black short hair now and if you can believe it they managed to race swap another redhead from comic books they managed to jump in there and turn them black i'm sorry but when you say black like that with just so much venom and so much anger you cannot convince me that you are not racist like listen again to how he says black they managed to jump in there and turn them black yeah wrap it up buddy you're done 
So after reading Absolute Batman, I think we can all agree that Scott Snyder can't really write comic books, correct? No. And this is a fact, proven with every single page of this garbage. There's an abundance of absolutely insane creative decisions happening here. Who, in their right mind, greenlit Alfred's look? What is the haircut? What is the beard? Why is he an MI6 mercenary with, like, grenade launchers and sniper rifles? This is straight up cringe, I'm sorry. You know, I wonder what this guy's definitely definition of badasses. I wonder what his definition of not cringe is. What would this guy find cool? Because so far, all of the examples that he's showing, where he's like, this is bad, it's cringe, it's not cool. It looks pretty cool. So I thought Alfred was bad enough. But then we get to Bruce Wayne, the main man himself. What do you think when I say Bruce Wayne? You think the suave, charming, rich guy, which in Batman Year One was originally based off of Gregory Peck. But now in this comic, they're going for something a little different. Let's just take a little glance at what they thought Bruce Wayne was. So this is the page where Bruce Wayne is first introduced. We see him hitting a bag. He looks exactly like Bruce Wayne has for the last like a hundred years. Saying some badass Batman stuff. No fear, no pain. And then out of nowhere, this big hulking transgender comes up behind him and is like, hey bro, I think it's my turn now. And just starts blowing the punching bag across the room with his big fat arms. Now the character design going on here, he has the haircut of some fat emo trans transgender kid. Does this guy just not like anybody who doesn't have the exact same hairstyle as him? Like first he was saying that having short black hair was gay. Now he's saying that like medium length to longish like black hair is now transgender? What? And that is Bruce Wayne. I'm not joking. That is is Batman. Then we actually start getting into the backstory of Bruce Wayne. His parents weren't killed coming down that alleyway and they got mugged. No, instead he's at a zoo with his dad or something and his dad gets shot and the idea for Batman comes from the fact that he's in a zoo and he goes into some bat-like exhibit. I, I really don't know what's going on here. I don't know what was being smoked in the writer's room but clearly this comic is all over the place. It's a mess. And apparently Bruce Wayne isn't some rich guy anymore. Instead, he's a working class citizen, working all these different construction jobs, learning engineering. So he's this super genius and his mother is still alive. So there's no motive to fight that you're an orphan. Your two parents were shot in front of you and you'll never stop on your crusade against crime. Instead, your dad got shot in a zoo somewhere. Your mother is still alive and now you're just working construction jobs. Okay, like I said earlier, guys, I'm not even that into superhero lore or comic books or anything like that. But so far, this guy is just contradicting himself like crazy. Like he's trying to make this point that Batman, you know, grew up in a very amazing environment and, you know, nothing bad happened to him. So he has no motivation to fight crime. But at the same time, he's acknowledging that he saw his dad get shot in a zoo and he ran away to a bat exhibit. Like, what does this guy think? Does he think that Batman, both of Batman's parents need to be shot in order for him to have proper motivation to stop crime? Is this Batman? I, I don't really know what's going on here. I was shocked reading it. He's walking around like an emo kid brooding. I don't know what's going on with Batman these last few years, but people need to learn that his hair doesn't come down over his eyes. He doesn't listen to Nirvana and he's not gay. You know, I'm almost at the point where I don't even know what to say. Like, where do I even start? Like, I love how this dude is trying to make fun of like this version of Batman because apparently they're emo and edgy. When you go to this guy's channel, you can literally see that he used to make like black metal or like death metal videos or whatever. It's like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like this dude's trying to clown on like, I guess, emo slash alternative culture. When this dude is like a metalhead, it, it kind of doesn't make sense to me. It's like at the end of the day, like your criticism of this version of Batman just kind of sounds like projection. So then in the story, we learn about this gang of scumbags who have taken over Gotham. Very similar to the Dark Knight Returns, except in the Dark Knight Returns, you had the mutant gang. These violent creeps were going around, stealing, killing. It was really dark for its time. So you think in this brand new comic, this edgy comic, they'll be able to go darker. No. The people who have taken over the city, the big bad villains, are called the party animals. I, I don't get it, I really don't. They're wearing like clown masks or party masks, I don't know. It's all very messy and stupid. Okay, what does this guy want? First he's complaining about the comic being too edgy and too lame. Now he's saying that the comic needs to be more edgy. What do you want? When Frank Miller designed those mutants, they really did look threatening. These party animals? There's no threat here. Where is the villain in the story? 
sorry. I know they introduced Joker at the end of it, but where the hell is the threat? And now, finally, we get onto the biggest offence of the entire story. Commissioner Jim Gordon is giving a speech to Gotham, and he actually looks like Jim Gordon. He's white, he has the grey hair, he has the moustache, then the terribly ridden villains enter, the party animals, and they just start shooting up the place. Then that's when we get the glimpse of the best part of the entire story. Barbara Gordon. She peeks her head in, just one panel I'm pretty sure, and um, she's black. She is black. They did it again. Another redhead character just changed to black. Iris West. Wally West. Are we serious? We're just making them black for no reason and expecting people not to notice or expecting people to tolerate it. But I won't and I hope everybody else won't either. You know guys, sometimes I'm pretty critical of myself. Sometimes I think maybe in life I'm just not doing enough. I'm not working hard enough. But then I remember that there are actual grown men out there that will sit down in front of a microphone and look into a camera and cry and complain and moan and bitch and whine about one little frame in a comic book page where there was a black woman. I don't even think I can genuinely fathom being in a place in my life where I would sit down in front of a camera and complain that there was a tiny little frame in a comic book page where a black woman existed. And, you know, it's so Jover, Batman's gone woke, guys. It, I'm not going to tolerate this madness. It's like, how sensitive are you, dude? Boo-hoo, they race swapped one side character that, as far as I can tell, doesn't really have any, like, super giant, like, influence on the story. Like, they're not a super relevant character. As far as I can tell. I haven't read the comic, so if I'm wrong, then please correct me in the comments down below. But just judging based off the fact that, like, even this dude said, they only took up, like, l like literally, like, one frame of the comic book page. So they can't be that important. And yet, here you are, sitting here, crying about it talking about some i won't tolerate this and i hope you guys don't tolerate it either like dude grow up black barbara gordon just snuck her way in why think about it from a writing standpoint she didn't even need to show up in the story if she did she should have looked the way she always has i'm getting sick of this can we just start changing black characters to white can black panther be white in the next comic please it doesn't work that way because black people need to be represented Wait, they've always been represented, and you're just shoving them into stories for no reason now. You're swapping people out to make them black because you want to make up for all those years of not being represented. It's a lie, and it's a scam. Okay, I'm actually starting to get the impression that this dude is, like, unironically, like, just really racist. Like, I'm starting to think that this isn't a character or a grift, and he's actually just really mad at black people. Because I don't think, I don't even think I've ever seen Andy Pants get this mad about a black person existing within a piece of media. I'm sorry, but I... I have a hard time believing you're not racist when you're getting this angry and heated over one little panel in a comic book where there is a black woman. Scott Snyder is an ultra weird. Just look at the last fight scene. I won't bring you through the entire thing because I'm kind of getting sick of this garbage even just looking at it. But basically, Batman drops down to stop these party animals. What's the difference to normal Batman? He's basically the Hulk now. His cape has turned into Spawn's cape for some reason because he can like push it out and drive people through windows and walls with it. I don't know what his cape is doing in the comic and it's really odd. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is just cool looking. Like I, like I said, I'm not even into like comic books or Batman like that, but that is just cool looking. I don't know why this guy keeps doing this, but he keeps listing out like the most cool things in this comic book and is like, yeah, this is edgy. It's cringe. It's bad. It's lame. It's like, this looks pretty sick. Then he rips off his ears. You know those things on his head? Yeah, he just rips them off and starts cutting guys, throwing them around. Then finally, when I was ready to puke my guts out because it was such a disgrace to the character of Batman, we get hit with this page. This bad guy comes up to him, edgy, cursing at Batman. Get the F out of her way. Batman then takes off his big loaf of bread logo, the big rectangle that doesn't even look like the Bat logo, and uses it as a hammer or something, or an axe, and slow is the dude's arm off with no regard for whether or not he lives or dies and then just goes yeah there's a hospital down the road you should start running that's some cringy tough guy dialogue that a 12 year old would write and then on top of it batman then just starts screaming cursing at this gang you're gonna have to get the f out of my way what 
What is this? Please, can we stop glorifying it, calling it badass awesome? It's one of the cringiest things I've ever read. Okay, ranting for vengeance. How are you any better than this, in quotation marks, edginess and like cringiness that you're complaining about in this comic? Your YouTube banner literally says death to all posers. Like, do you just lack self-awareness? Like, at least with the comic, sure, I'll give him this. Sure, some of the lines can be a little bit cringy, but at least with the comic, you're getting like cool superheroes heroes and like you know some cool action going on with this dude it's just cringe like the lack of self-awareness is crazy but that's basically where the dude wraps up the video i mean he just like concludes the video with just saying you can take your absolute universe and stick it up your ass which is like once again the lack of self-awareness is crazy yeah that'll tell the woke media it's just like, bro, it's so lame. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button for the algorithm. Also, be sure to check out the Discord server link in description. And yeah, as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.